This is workflow lesson 1.6. We start with opening up the model file from last class 1.5. So you either open it, you either open the one in the folder you download, or you open the ones that you made yourself. So this is it. First thing first, I want to change a parameter, the default value, as negative 30. So that next time when it starts up, it will start up at the first point, the beginning. Now let's replace the texture first. Go to edit texture and replace. Actually go to texture list and then replace. Press yes and replace with the ones with triangle and circle. Check how it goes. Now I don't like the triangle from last time so I will delete the triangle. Go to rough get the triangle and delete that uh, square. We have to delete at one of the active points. Delete. Let's re rename the things. Let's call this square C as in square in the circle. And give it a draw order of 500. Also at the end, draw order of 500. Now let's go to edit texture import that square again and give it a two point actually give a name first square T or triangle and now I will have it two points at the end point it has to be here Simply drag this, drag this, not doing so well this time, huh? I guess the points weren't close enough when I first imported, like the, these points angle corners are not close enough to that corner. so. Let's give it a try again. Let's see this one and give it a try again. Add a texture. This time I'll put it closer to the original corners. And that should work it out for me. Also give it a triangle setup. Like that. Square T. Two points. Move it down. Remember that this shaping, if you have a replacement for the animal shape with another texture, then you don't need a very high accuracy in the in the shape. So we got a simple square, and then these two points would meet each other in the center and turn it into a triangle like that. Halfway, merge. Now let's turn off the guide image and this time let's import other texture. I need the triangle. I want two points here. Press OK. Move it out here. That's good for the starting point, or that, that is end point of the animation. Let's get back to the starting point right here. So let's move it up. So now it's already following the move. However, I need, it, I need this one to turn into a square. So let's try to do this. Let's do this. And then this. And this. Now obviously nothing is changing because there's no point in the middle, it's stretching this little side thing, it's not working. So let's give some points. Let's try to give this a point like this. That's better, but I still need a little bit more around this area. It's 
OK. Let's merge this down so to get a nice sharp edge. OK. And I need when this square, when the green square gets here, a triangle, I need it to be at zero opacity. Also, I need it to be always at higher order than the square. So go to the both points and give it a 600 draw order. Now that we have this one, that's good. Also, I need the square to disappear halfway. So let's go back to the square T and ask it to disappear uh, at the end of it. So we got this. And I need to rename this as triangle. And now let's get the circle in. Circle, I just start with four dots. That's okay. Actually, let's start with uh, this format, since we'll be needing them anyways. Actually, you want the point to, you want this point to hit the edge of it, close as possible. which then you would give this point a lot of control in forming that square uh, corner. So starting point here, let's give a draw order of 600, that's okay. Call the name circle, and then give it the perimeter, two points. At the beginning of the transformation, move it up. Did I move the triangle? Maybe. Um, move it up here. And let's make it into a square. So let's do this by pushing this out, pushing this in, pushing this out, and in, out, out, in. Push that in, push that in, and there. The frame is already in a square, so what next is to push out these points. This point out, this point out, point out, and point out. Remember that it's not going to be perfect, but let's be, that's pretty good already. So that's an okay standard. Let's turn it off. Wait, let's turn the square, the blue square off and turn the red square circle off here. Double check. It's two squares into two different shapes and two different colors. There. That's a perfect transformation. All right, see you guys next lesson.